Paul, what do you want to say? Good morning, guys. Uh, I'm a first time caller. Um, Welcome to the show. I'm very much in the. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm very much in the um, the camp of we don't need a big name. We've gone down this route before. I'm loath to criticise the new uh, ownership model because it's been such positives since they've obviously uh, taken over and the way that the club's changed and everything else, the direction. But I feel sorry for John Eustace because he's been doing a good job. Um, and I just think this big name, um, I don't know. They're never proven as good managers and I don't think it works. So uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see now, I suppose. What about Lee? Hello? Hello. You're all right. Um, what do you make of uh, the comments I just made about the uh, fact that it's very difficult to be negative against owners who have made everybody feel so good since coming in? Um, maybe they've got the, the long-term best intentions in mind. I agree to a point there, but everybody should get criticism and they have made the wrong decision. Why? There is a, Because the football we played this year has been the best football I've seen down Blues in five, six years at least. And everybody's enjoying going back to the ground. The atmosphere is brilliant. Why has it been ruined? It's well, just been ruined for no reason. Uh, James says, and he's a supporter who sent us a text on 8, uh, 1089, this is purely about style of play. Two games ago, we went six without a win, playing very negative, surrender possession football. Too often we're on the back foot, which is just not sustainable for progress. Thanks, John, but the new owners are more demanding now and we need to move forward. You say it's the best football you've seen uh, down the Blues yeah. for five years. Who, which one of you's right? Um, well, we've had most of our players have been injured. So we've had Dembele. He was injured for six games. So as soon as he's come back, we're playing brilliant football again. So that was down to injuries mainly. And okay. he's, he's just been, I don't know, he's just been left out to dry now. For Lee, no have, reason. Uh, Lee, I assume, I mean, the last two home games, you've scored seven goals. Yeah. You know, there's not brilliant. many managers who, who do that and lose their job. I mean, have you been at both of those games? Yeah, I'm a season ticket holder. And, and, I, go home and, I go home and away. And they completely controls those matches, yeah? Yeah, well, the West Brom game was a little bit lucky, maybe. But Huddersfield, it could have been seven or eight. It was Some of the football was just brilliant. Um, Lee, Thanks. thank you very much. Let's move on to Zach, who is a Birmingham fan. Hi, Zach. Hello. Do you think this is a huge mistake? Yeah. I think appointing a big-name manager, it was inevitable. It was going to happen at some point. But I think the timing of it is... It couldn't be worse. You cannot sack a manager after two wins and a win against your, one of your biggest rivals in the league. Seven goals at home as well. It's a joke. Do you think also that the new owners and the chief executive, Gary Cook, who I understand is going to be instrumental in appointing Wayne Rooney, should they have come out and made public their ambitions a little bit sooner? Because it seems a little bit unfair to me that John Eustace has been operating, certainly for the last couple of weeks, probably knowing that his reign was coming to an end. In fact, I was told yesterday by a reliable source that he was told before the West Bromwich Albion game that it would be his last in charge. <laughs> it's a very difficult circumstances to manage. He still managed to pull off a victory. Did he deserve a little bit more respect? Yeah, I think, well, the owner's been here from the start of the season. If, you, if you're going to appoint a big-name manager, you do it at the start of the season. You don't, you don't appoint a manager after winning two games on the bounce. Does that suggest that they were waiting for Rooney to finish his MLS season? Well, he finished it the weekend. He came out the weekend and said, "I'm leaving by mutual consent." At the end of the weekend, and it all came to an end there. And then within two days, Eustace has been sacked, and they're moving on to a new guy. Is that coincidence? Yeah, uh, yeah, it must be. It sounds like it. I have heard that we were we've been looking at Rooney for quite some time, and I've heard, uh, the thing is, Rooney's agent is one of Gary Cook's mates as well. So, does that make you nervous, Zach? Do, would you want to yeah. see Wayne Rooney coming in there? No, I, I don't. Well, he, he, he did okay at Derby under tough circumstances, but at, D, at DC he hasn't done very well. If you're going to get a big-name manager, there's better ones out there. Well, we'll see what happens. Um, I hope that Wayne Rooney is a success at Birmingham because I think Birmingham deserve a bit of success after what they've been through. They've got new owners. They obviously want to try and progress the club football. I do feel sorry for John Eustace, but I do think, you know... Give Wayne a chance. It's but not really his fault that he's been parachuted into club. He would. Well, he's would not he... there yet, is he? Well, he's not there. Let's, but not, let's he... not confuse people listening that he's actually got the job. We assume he's going to get the job. We've got a good let's idea. See. Oh, okay. But also, a link to the boardroom, have you? But also, if you look at the situation, <laughs> if you compare the two profiles of manager, John Eustace, as I mentioned, someone who was at Birmingham as a kid, 
released. Obviously, he's got an affection for the football club. If Wayne Rooney goes to Birmingham, it's a stepping stone to greater things. It's a stepping stone to a Premier League job. It could even be a stepping stone to the England job. So this is not Wayne Rooney going to come in and commit himself to Birmingham City for the long term, is it? Yeah, but if he's there and he's successful, then everybody gains. Doesn't they? He wants to get into the Premier League, no? I think it's, I think it's a massive gamble. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.